hello guys in this video we are going to be looking at the southwest regional mock for that math paper 2 question 6b of 2022 so the question required us to get the relationship between the n and the n minus one term of an integral so the n term was defined as the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 plus x squared to the n where n was a natural number and um relating the n and the n minus one term where we're working on the set of positive integers all right so first of all when you look at integrals like this the very first thing to think about is integration by parts so integration by part is the major process that is going to help us to get the relationship between the n term and the and the n minus one term of this integral so i'm just going to explain how the integration by part formula came about so in the integration by part formula in, uh, um, integrating by parts we know that we usually let one function to be u and another function to be dv it means that we are actually integrating u dv because we usually let one function to be u and another function to be dv so what happened was that if we have a function y equal to u times v where u and v are functions of x the product will say is that dy by dx i'm just going to write dy is equal to u dv plus v du plus v du that's what the product will say but we know that in integration by parts we are integrating u dv so if we integrate all through we integrate the left hand side and we integrate the right hand side when we integrate dy we get y now we need to integrate u dv which is actually the integration by parts formula that's what we usually integrate when we when we use integration by parts plus um the integral of v du okay but since we need the integral of u dv it means that the integral of u dv we need to subtract the other part we need to subtract this guy on both sides of the equation so the integral of v of u dv becomes our y but our y is uv then minus the integral of v du so here's the general form of the integration by part but if we now have limits let's say from a to b for example then we are going to attach those limits to this part which is a to b and we also attach the limits so our integral a to b so let's be very vigilant so in integration by part we usually let one function to be u and then the remainder of the function in the integral to be dv so the next step now is which function are we going to let to be u and which function are we going to let to be dv because if we look at our integral we see we have two functions this is the first function which is one plus x squared to the end and then we just say our dx is another function yes let's just put it that way so you you you, you easily get it okay so um if we go back to the proof right we are going to see that in the proof we have i of n minus one and we know that for us to have i of n minus one then our i of n the power of one plus x squared becomes n minus one and for that power to become x minus one to become n minus one it means we actually differentiated that function so that automatically becomes our u because uh, when we let u to be a function we need to differentiate to get the u when we let v to, dv to be a function we need to integrate to get dv so that's what we are going to do we are going to let our u to be uh, using integration by parts we are going to let our u to be 1 plus x squared to the power of n we differentiate both sides we now how do we differentiate 1 plus x squared to the power of n we drop the power we differentiate 1 plus x squared then we multiply it with 1 plus x squared to the power minus 1 so dropping the power is n where we differentiate 1 plus x squared we get 2x then we multiply it with 1 plus x squared to the power n minus 1 now we let our dv to be the leftover part which is dx we integrate both sides considering our constant of integration to be zero so our v becomes when we integrate dv we get v and when we integrate dx we get x all right 
So the implementation by part formula says about i of n will be equal to uv from 0 to 1 because we have limits of integration. So uv minus the integral of v du from 0 to 1. All right, so um, we just impute the respective u and v and v and du. So our u is 1 plus x squared to the power of n and then our v is x from 0 to 1 minus the integral from 0 to 1 of v du. Our du is 2nx times 1 plus x squared to the n minus 1 then our, our um, v is x. So we impute, we factor out a constant. We see this x here multiplies with this x here to give us x squared. Then we multiply it with this. Now we are going to rewrite, we are going to use properties of indices. 1 plus x squared to the n minus 1 is 1 plus x squared to the n divided by 1 plus x squared. We are going to extract this part of the integral. We have x squared on x squared plus 1, which can be simplified to x squared plus 1 minus 1 on x squared plus 1 we are doing this because we don't we don't want to pass through the integration we don't want to pass through long division so we simply um do our euclidean algorithm we, we we do our euclidean division by adding one and subtracting one from the numerator so we now group the terms like taking the one in red divided by the denominator minus your one divided by the denominator anyways you can see the long division because we are trying to partial frac since the degree of the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator we have to do long division but anyways when you do that you see arrive at one minus one on x squared plus one our integral now becomes um two to the end remember that you need to fit your limits of integration here then you you're going to get two to the end so two to the n minus two n um your one plus x squared to the power n we can call it one quantity and then now x squared on one plus x squared another quantity but x squared plus one on x squared is equivalent to one minus one over x squared plus one okay so we can write one over x squared plus one as one plus x squared to the negative one we multiply each term by one plus x squared to the power of n so multiply the first term by one plus x squared to the power of n multiply the second term by one plus x squared to the power of n the power now becomes n minus one using the laws of indices multiplying two things having the same base we add their powers all right we now um integrate um integration is um negative 2n we multiply both integrals and when you multiply the first integral we have this negative 2n times negative becomes positive positive 2n and then multiplies this other integral remember that integration is associative over um subtraction or or addition okay now we can identify something this integral here this integral is simply i of n and this integral is i of n minus one so automatically we can deduce that um, i of n is equal to two to the n minus two n i of n plus two n i of n minus one we can add two n i of n on both sides of the equation then we factor out the left hand side to get i of n is one plus two n equal to 2 to the n plus 2 n i of n minus 1 which is what we were required to prove all right so guys thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to the vid to, to the channel share the video with your friends after watching while watching you like the video you comment on the video as well now beside you can see one funny integral which is the integral of the x on the x if you want to see the solution just click the video that is on your screen thank you for watching and see you in the next video